Hello there folks, Joe was here today. A uh, quick video just going to talk about how to set up an infinite loop in Crimson uh, to run all the time. So I had customers asking, how could I create an infinite loop that would run and call other programs all the time? Well, what I did here in this simple application is uh, if I go over here to programs on the left, you're going to see that uh, I created a program here called continuous loop loop. I have it spelled wrong, but uh, disregard the color yet. I'll talk about that. And this program is pretty simple. It's just a, uh, let me see if I can zoom this in, make it a little bigger. So I have just a for loop with two open parentheses and uh, a semi or open parentheses, two semicolons, and then closed parentheses. And then, of course, anything between this open squiggly and this closed squiggly will execute. And what I have in here is two things. One, uh, I created a tag called my count. Two pluses means just it count, uh, counts up. And then I also have within here uh, where I'm calling another program called program one. So if I go over here to the left, I'll click on program one. And you can see program one is nothing more than just another counter that uh, gets counted all the time as well. Now, let me go back to the continuous loop. Notice the icon is gray. Well, that particular program if I click on the Properties tab here, click on the Properties tab, I have that program set up to run in one of the background tasks. You can do free background or you can do same as caller. I got it set up to run in the background one, and then I have checked this button here, Run Anyway. If I click on Program 1 over here, you're going to see it's the normal same as caller, which means it gets executed just when the caller calls it. So in this case, it's going to be called in the background, or not background, but from the continuous loop program. It's called from in here when I click source. Now, when do I when do I start this, or when is it being executed, or when is it being intrigued or started? Well, if I go over to the left here and click on display pages on the left, okay, this is my page. I've got some other stuff I'm playing with, but I got my counters out here. If I click on the pages tab here, if I click on the pages tab over here on top you're gonna to see team that you have a tab here called global and what I've done here is I've went to the right side and I've clicked programs on the right side and I have simply dragged out the continuous loop into the on startup field so that's gonna call that program on startup which then begins that continuous never-ending loop that's one thing with the four uh, open semicolon or open brackets two semicolons and close that becomes a for loop that never ends so that there is calling that program all the time and this is what's on the display page so if I go to the web page let me go to the web page and show you guys this live data here now you know what hold on I think this browser is right here this is the live data from this particular unit and uh, the main page here running uh, you can see the two counters are up here you notice something interesting the negative number well, um, these two counters, uh, I've had them running uh, overnight, actually, and I'm also logging this data. Let me go back here. I'll show you something. Over here in the data logger, I set up a simple logger that's going to take a reading once a second, holds 86,400 readings, which is, there's that many seconds in a day, and retain at most 10, so it's going to have the last 10 days of data. If I go to the Contents tab, these are the values that are being logged, and so uh, that's what's going on on this unit. If I go back to the web page here, let's see here. If I reset this one, I can click on it, put a zero in. Let's see what happens here. All right, so you can see this one got reset, but this one is still counting down. This one is counting up. And this one's counting down. Well, I thought this was kind of weird to me. Uh, so over here in Crimson, I, before I even executed this team, I went to this tag called My Count, went to the Format tab, and I configured it and the Program 1 counter to hold 10 digits. I believe that's the most you can put in here. I don't know if it is. I think it is. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait. No way. Hold on. Okay, 10. Yeah, 10 digits is correct. 32 decimal points. So... Uh, I got that set to 10, and therefore, uh, what that means to me is that uh, this field could go all the way to 9999999999. I think I counted 10 there, but 
pretty big number. Anyway, uh, I've got this running here, and I noticed this was a negative number. So I thought, what's going on there? Well, uh, I went back here to the main listing here, and I should refresh this. There'll be a logs here. It should come up. Give it a second. So under logs, you can see there's log 22. If I click on this, I've only had it running since yesterday. So this file is pretty big, as you can see the size here. Well, I've already downloaded that file. And interestingly, uh, this is that file, and, and you can see it's huge. But uh, somewhere in here, about uh, roughly 5.30 a.m. this morning, that number went to uh, whatever, 214, whatever that huge number there, and then rolled over. So apparently, uh, it got to this number, and then it rolls over, and now it's counting back down. I suspect it's going to go back to zero, and then it's going to start to count up again. So there must be some magical mad, uh, upper limit of this number. I was expecting, I was actually expecting it to be uh, 999, because I said 10 digits. So I was really expecting the number to possibly be here, but there must be some limitation. It must be two point or two one four some number. Anyway, that's what I was expecting. But nonetheless, the the thing about this I'm trying to show off in this quick video is that uh, this program uh, is a continuous loop, run all the time, and of course. Uh, so if I go back to the web page here, you can see this one is counting up. And this one's counting down. And it's this is a continuous loop, so it's uh, running as prescribed. So I just thought I'd show off real quickly how you can set up a continuous loop to execute in Crimson. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. See you, team.